That is AM, everybody. Not PM. <laughs> not the time in London. This is the time, 6.32 AM, in Santa Barbara. This is a live musician warming up in the car. That's what we gotta do, you know? Musician. On the road. On the go all the time. On the road. So we're hanging out. This is like the lounge area. We can play foosball and stuff. Hang out with this cool dude right here. All the, all the um, radio stations are in this building. It's kind of cool. I'm trying to warm up Warm Rain on guitar. I've never done it before, so <laughs> see how it goes. Ready? It's Coast 101.31 One Republic Stop and Stare 839 on the Coast Morning Show. It's Bill and Amy, Coast Lounge. We have live music. We're very yeah. excited. Shani is here with us. You pulled it off. I'm proud of you. Yes, and she has a, a friend of hers, Amanda, is here too, and they are touring together. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get a little, a two, a treatment, a double dose this morning in the Coast Lounge. <laughs> Shani, tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, how, how you got started in music. When did you start playing music? Wow. Well, I started as a classical pianist when I was like seven. Is I that guess. right? Wow. Long, long time ago. Um, and I did that for a couple years. And once I got into high school, I joined the jazz band and completely fell in love with jazz music. I was still a pianist and um, kind of liked composing instrumental stuff. And um, the senior year of my high school, they have this thing called senior solo. So I was like, OK, I'll write a song. Perfect. Why not? I don't know what compelled me to do that, but I wrote a song with lyrics, with a melody, singing, and all that. I was so scared. <laughs> so but is I, that the first song you've ever written? Yeah, it was the first, the first time. The first time, and you written. said, "I'm gonna write it and I'm gonna sing it." And I, I gotta tell you, writing then, a yeah. song's got to be kind of scary, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, because you're kind of writing down your feelings, and you're kind of like the way you're feeling at the time you write the song. Then you yep. sing it out for the world to hear, and you're going, <laughs> yeah. "Oh, geez. and and everyone's like, "Who did you write that song about?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. And you're like, um. And there's, you know, three guys at well. school are saying, that's about me, by the way. <laughs> so what are you going to sing for us this morning? Um, I'm going to sing for you guys um, a song called Warm Rain, and it's the title track of my new recently released album. I pretty much put all my heart and soul into it and kind of did all the recording, mixing, editing, everything myself. With it's a labor and, of love. Yeah, exactly. Here she is, Shani Schusterman, and the song is called? Yeah. Warm rain. Warm rain. Here we go. There's a puddle that is muddy, streaked with painful patience that's unsure if some temptations are a villain sitting, waiting, eager to conquer. Wow. Woo! Well done. Shanice Shosterman. Now, now, you have a sound. Who does she sound like? Can you? Is really ever, talented. Yeah, but you sound like some <laughs> another artist that we play you on the radio. Does anybody really? ever say? There is say anything to um, you? I've gotten a mix of like Nora Jones, Sarah Bareilles. Nora Jones. Really? Nora Jones. That's who it is. All right. I've yes. Got, I've gotten Nora Jones the most. Sometimes Sarah Bareilles, and one. Once or twice, it was Colby Kelly, I think. But. I was thinking Colby <laughs> yeah. Kelly, too, yes, because you have a sound like someone that I've heard huh. before. It's beautiful. Thank you. you got a great Thank voice. What so a great much. song, too. It's going to be available on iTunes very soon, in a couple weeks. Okay. Um, and, you know, before then, they can check out my MySpace, myspace.com slash Shani, S-H-A-N-I, music. Shameless plug. <laughs> no, that's, that's okay. That's what you're here for, right? You know. Yes, All right. absolutely. Shani, thank you so yeah. much. Thank and coming you. up in just thank a few so minutes, much. we're going to be talking with uh, her touring mate, Amanda Holmes. That's right. Hang on for it. It's 8.50 on the Coast Morning Show. It's Coast 101.3, Ace of Base and The Sign, 8.54 on the Coast Morning Show. Coast Lounge, part two.
Yes. <laughs> Live music, and uh, we're very excited. We've got uh, Amanda Holmes with us this morning. Good morning, Hello. Amanda. Good morning. Amanda Holmes, yes, good morning to you. Thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. Oh, it's our, ple- our pleasure, boy. You guys are very talented. You're so young, too. You're still in college, and you're out on the road. Who are some of your inspirations? Who really inspires you, other musicians? I love Joss Stone. I'm a huge soul fan, okay. so anything that is heartfelt... I mean, you got your Aretha Franklin and your Al and your Marvin. Those so you like you like even awesome. that old, that old school music like oh, uh, oh the the, the Motown kind of sound and everything like that. Somewhat? Actually, the new album is is focused around old soul. We we have a horn section and the organs and the roads. Wow, that's very, awesome. We, we went old school with it. That's interesting. That's very cool. So what are you gonna play for us this morning, Amanda? Uh, it's called "Came to Us in Mexico." We waited for the sun to rise. Sunk our feet into the sand Held the horizon in our eyes Let time trickle through our hands Wow. Awesome. Very nice. Thank you Great. so much. Well, we've got some talent in the room, don't we? I know. I and know it. Did that song just come to you, Amanda? I was actually on spring break with one of my best friends. <laughs> That's what I thought. And <laughs> we went to Mexico. We sat down, and we ended up writing five songs in four days, and it just went like that. It was unbelievable, magical experience, and that's my whole next album right there. That's the way it happens sometimes, huh? It, it just kind of takes off, and, and you can't does, stop it. And when it does, it's amazing. We want to thank you so much for coming in. You've got thank great talent, you. and you're so young. you got your future ahead of you. You're going to be big stars, and you're going to forget all about us aren't you? Never! Good to see you. This is, what's your name? Bill. 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 How do you pronounce it again? Yeah. Bill. Is it Beal or Bile? <laughs> what about your last name? That's tricky. And Amy. Hi, I'm Amy. Hi. They're awesome. This is the radio station. I go with Amish. Coast 103. 101.3. Should I fake this too? And this is Coast. Yeah. 101.3. And there's the... Mr. Shinny didn't want to eat here because... It looks really sketch. They probably killed the cow in the back. <laughs> I'm eating Bessie rice. So this is the New Times in San Luis Obispo. And under Linnae's Cafe. Yay! Wait, I can't 522. See it. Uh it's blurry. <laughs> but you guys get the gist. Recap. So we woke up at 5.45 in the morning. Amanda tickled my hand. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Morning, the show so was we... great. Uh, the radio show, the radio station is really cute. Um, and Bill and Amy were really nice and really nice. welcoming. And I thought we did a really good job. And we felt pretty good for a morning show. It was fun. And I, it would be really awesome if people that listen to the show in the morning actually showed up at Linnae's. Tonight. That would, that would be, really be cool. fantastic. What did you think? I thought it was really cool. I had never been. I know you DJ at USC, so you have your yeah. own radio show, but I had never been live on radio, so that was really cool to be in there with the mm-hmm. microphone and talking. <laughs> we forgot. Uh, Justin made this for us last night. There is no flower that smells quite like her. We take gifts. Yeah. We'll it was collect a little, them. That's a little gift for us, a little artsy us thing, and we figured we'd put it on our <laughs> dashboard. Yeah. It's not quite as entertaining as Pierre the Potato from last year, but <laughs> I think we could make do. Madonna Inn. So here's our next gig at the Madonna Inn. <laughs> it's like a fortress of a place. We officially played at Madonna Inn. I'm going to go back now. I saved it for this, you know? We got the rock theme, the rock waterfall shower theme. No, I think those are in the same room. All of my allergies would be accounted for. We'd have wheat free everything. And everything would either come with avocados or maple syrup. <laughs> We're going to go check out rooms. Sleeping. <laughs> There's a pie.